All right, here we go. Um, so this is a good one. Some people had asked me about uh, leveraging affiliates. Um, we do leverage affiliates. I, I think it's, um, and I don't, I don't like always using the word leverage or, or anything like that. I mean, it is what it is. But um, I think what some people, so this is what I found out. We didn't know about this. I remember going in when we, you know, our first broker, uh, going into a meeting and they have this guy up there and he's talking about, oh, well, you know, this is what I'm going to do for your clients. And uh, when we go into escrow, I'm going to send your clients chocolates and, and uh, I'll take care of your clients. And I heard all these things and, and uh, our brokers are just hamming it up like, yeah, you got to use this guy. Everybody should use him. In fact, we almost require it. And, um, and then I started learning some of the angles. So, so this is what I've learned. And, uh, and I think a lot of agents don't know this, and I'm not really sure why, but it, it just, it, I guess it's like a dirty secret or something. But, um, you know, a lot of brokers, when they're pushing their, um, their lenders on you or their escrow companies or their title companies, they're getting something out of it. And I'm not saying they're getting kickbacks, but you, you have to understand that uh, RESPA, which is a, a super cool little thing out there, it dictates what um, these affiliates can and can't do for you and your business. Um, so what, first off, I would say, uh, you know, what, whoever you are that's watching this, depending on your state, you definitely want to do that research. Uh, we're in California, you know, and I've sat down and researched it just like a fanatic to figure out what we can and can't do. So this is the way I like to look at it. Um, the more business we get, the more opportunities and ability that we have to market, especially if our marketing is functional and it's productive and we're producing agents, uh, it makes sense for a lender. Uh, let's just use lenders, and again, I'll tell all of the different affiliates, but let's just use lenders because I think it's the easiest way of, of wrapping your head around this. Um, if a lender ties their boat to you and your business and you're using them as your preferred lender, um, they're going to grow and make more of a profit the more you produce. So what I learned um, as we progress through this business is the real estate agent really is the commodity. Uh, a lender, there's multiple different ways a lender can do their business. Now keep in mind, this, this is for all affiliates across the board, but again, lenders are probably the easiest to sort out. Um, lenders can go out and do uh, refinancing deals so they could send out direct mail, they can do their own marketing, they can put in their own costs and their own money. Um, they could go out and try to find, you know, uh, buyers that are looking to buy a home and, and target market to them to line them up with lending. Um, and you see it sometimes, sometimes it could be on TV or radio or newspaper, etc. However, a majority of lenders, a lot of lenders, um, their marketing is only directed towards real estate agents. They only go after real estate agents and then they try to uh, show the real estate agent, you know, I'm going to always take care of you and uh, I'll provide, I'll always close, so that's why you should use me. So yeah, I think the first one is you have to understand the math. They make quite a bit of money off of every buyer that you bring to them. Once they're pre-qualified and actually close, they make, they make a nice little chunk of money. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. It gets even better when you start talking about escrow. And that's why if you look at how some of the laws have been adjusted, um, they really go after some of these uh, other companies that used to, I mean, it used to be back in the day, it's like, you know, you use this title rep and you can get a cruise and all sorts of crazy stuff. And the reason why is because they realized that uh, the commodity was the real estate agent. It wasn't the client. It was if a real estate agent is producing and they can pump me X number of deals, then it justifies X number of output. I'm going to put my marketing budget behind these agents because they're going to feed me. Um, so what does that mean to you? Well, there's laws that actually say that these affiliates can support you and your business because it's supporting them and their business. Um, we do a lot of joint marketing, so I'll start with one of the simplest ones, Zillow. Zillow's a great example. Um, I'm going to do a video on Zillow and what I think about it. Uh, we, I think Zillow as a, um, as a lead generation and marketing platform is, is pretty horrible, but I love Zillow. And I think Zillow is an absolute must if you're a real estate agent. That's a listing agent. Um, but that's, again, a video for another time. And I could be wrong, but that's just a, what, what we've learned. So let's look at Zillow. Um, I decide that I want to spend $1,000 in my market to market to Zillow. I can reach out to a lender, an affiliate, and say, hey, I'm going to be bringing deals if you off of Zillow. If you want my leads off of Zillow, you can pay 50% 
of the Zillow cost. So I told you it's going to cost us a thousand dollars to go out into our market and try to uh, find mostly buyers, but let's say even some listings, right? And um, I'm going to go to my lender and say, hey, um, I want you to come in with me. This is the return that we get. Or some lenders are like, look, I'll just pay you know 50% of Zillow because I just want to be in your good graces and I'm hoping to get other deals outside of Zillow. So they'll actually pay for that. So now your $1,000 just turned into $500 that you're paying per month. You can do this with your websites, and I know I, I talked a little bit about lead capture websites once before. So if you have a lead capture website, it's like, man, a lead capture website costs two thousand dollars a month. Doesn't have to. Um, you are looking at direct mail. You're looking at, I don't know, Facebook. If you're looking at anything, if you can find a way through Respa to Talk your affiliate into, you know, investing in you, investing in the growth of your business because it invests in their own growth for their business. Then um, that's how you start trimming out your budget and making um, a little more money because there's only two ways to make money. You either produce more of it or you save it, right? So um, here's an opportunity to save and also produce more at the same time. Uh, the big reason why I want to talk about this, and I've kind of avoided it a little bit, Honestly, I haven't heard anybody talk about it. I haven't heard about it on a podcast. I haven't uh, read about it. And, and honestly, the, the one time I brought it up to a broker, um, they got pretty offended that I even mentioned it. And especially when you start looking at the brokerages where they have their own in-house lending and in-house lenders. If you use this, uh, we'll give you a, we'll, 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 we'll cut a portion of your total commission out of that check. There's there's so much money that's being tossed around on the back end, and it's you have to understand brokers are investors. Actually, brokers are some of the best investors that are out there. So you as a real estate agent, when you buy into whatever they're feeding you, you're making them more money. You're not making you any more money by saving you money or making you money or expanding your opportunities. Um, so that's why every brokerage that we've been to since, um, whenever I hear somebody say, oh, well, I'll send your clients chocolates. Don't, don't send them chocolates. Send me chocolates. I'm the guy that's giving you all these opportunities and giving you the at-bats to actually make more cash. Um, so, you know, chocolates translate into we're going to do some co-marketing together. We're going to go out and grow our businesses together. If you really want to work with me and you believe in what we're doing, then then invest in this with us. Be a, be a partner, a true partner. Don't just say you are and sit there and give me a bunch of smiles and shake my hand whenever we see each other. Um, so again, I haven't heard this said by anybody. I think it's um, something that needs to be said. I think more agents should be out there and actually investing in themselves, believing in themselves and creating their own affiliations uh, and relationships. For one, for as an agent and as you grow, but for two, who knows, maybe you'll end up becoming a broker and you can see all of the angles before you get there and you have to just figure it out the hard way. Um, so. Yeah, I guess um, that's about it as far as leveraging affiliates. If you have any questions, as always, you know, send me a PM, send me a, an email, give me a phone call. I don't mind answering the phone. Um, and, you know, if you have other ideas or things that you'd like me to communicate about, just let me know. Outside of that, uh, if you could, if you have a special talent or something that you would like to share, please, please, please create a video and uh, send it our way. I'm going to go ahead and end this because, as you can hear, i got a phone call coming in the office phone. All right, have a good one.